Denver is bracing for large hail and damaging winds today as severe weather moves across the central U.S. Meteorologist Gerard Jabaley is tracking it. Good morning, Gerard. Good morning, Mitch. It's some of the same, but we've got a few other things that we have to talk about today. First of all, yes, it's been active overnight. We had a lot of thunderstorm activity. We're going to continue to see that again today. It's bringing the threat for severe weather, but not just that. We're talking about the threat for flooding. Houston's about to get hammered right now with some very heavy rainfall. Flash flooding a possibility today, not just there, but look at the area that we're talking about. Shreveport all the way down towards Houston. You're in a level three out of four risk today for flash flooding. That could certainly lead to problems and right in time for the morning commute for, unfortunately, the Houston metro area. So that's the flooding threat. The severe weather threat is, again, as you just heard, across much of the High Plains region. We're talking everywhere from... Oh, the western Dakotas all the way down to the Texas Panhandle. So more threats for thunderstorms, isolated tornado threat, but it's going to be a big hail once again. If you have to travel on any of those roads, you got to watch out. And same thing for tomorrow, but this is going to be almost all of the classic tornado alley plain states where you could see the threat for a few tornadoes, but really it's going to be the damaging wind and hail. Hey, the good news is it's going to bring some necessary, badly needed rainfall for a lot of these regions. Look at the drought. They're in extreme to exceptional drought right now. And well, the rain that's going to fall on top of that will certainly be helpful. Here it is. You can see anywhere from an additional uh, one to three inches of rain could fall in some of these very dry spots. This is the time of the year where they get a lot of that water on some of these very thirsty crops. So that is very good news for them. Mitch. Thank you, Gerard. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.